What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with some more of the Grand Tour series on the island map. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So I was just flying through the redwoods here and oh my goodness that phyla just jumped out of that tree. That was kind of amazing and uh, I was actually looking at this phyla. It's a 174 which is uh, kind of crazy and I would like to tame it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm not exactly sure the best way to actually do this. I think if we set up a bit of a trap and then just lead it over there, that's probably the best way. So we're going to head back to the base here. We're going to grab some materials and hopefully that phyla doesn't disappear. All right, I've got the materials to make the trap. Now we just have to find exactly where it went. I don't see it anymore. Oh, I really hope it didn't die. There's no way it died that quickly. I refuse to believe. Did it maybe... Oh, it went back in a tree. Oh, that's terrifying. We're just right here and it's back in a tree. Oh, I don't like that whatsoever. Um. Okay, we need it to, like, pounce. And then let's maybe set up a trap here. Oh, there's a bunch of micro raptors. All right, bring it on, Micro Raptors. I can take you on. Bring it on. If I don't move, you can't hit me. There's a bunch of Pagos as well. I just want to kind of clear the area. I don't really want to deal with the Phyla and uh, all these other things. This Micro Raptor does not care. Just no cares whatsoever. See you later. Now we just need to set down the trap. Let's do it right here. Nice and quickly. Throw all the pieces on. All right, where's this Thyla? Oh, it's attacking the Dire Bear. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. All right, let's bring this Thyla up. All the way up. We got to hit the right side of the trap here. Otherwise, we're going to struggle getting it in. Straight up. And you're trapped. That so feels bad. Truly unfortunate for you. And the area is pretty clear. I just want to deal with this Pago real quick. Don't really want that coming up on me. So let's just kill you. You took my multi tool? Is that a joke? Oh, Pagos are actually the worst. There's a Carno up here. Let's also deal with you. Wherever you are, there you are. And now we're good. I believe it's getting a bit dark in here. Let's grab our tranks, throw those on, and redo our bar here just in case. Okay. Now we can trank you with ease. All right, so now we just have to figure out how exactly we're going to get our hands on some mutton because that's its favorite food. It's a 174. I don't really want to tame it with anything else and make it not so good. Uh, so we're going to head over to the winter biome and hopefully find an novice to kill. Get some mutton, cook it up, and come back before it wakes up. That's the plan. I'm actually just going to pump a little narcotic here. Let's just do that. And uh, let's head out. All right, so they can kind of spawn anywhere here, which is good and bad because they're very rare spawn. I think it's like 1% or something crazy like that. And there's an Alpha Carno, but we can't get distracted. We don't have time for that. I actually went back to the base and grabbed some fur gear because it was a bit cold. It is nighttime at the moment. And I didn't want to freeze to death. Oh my goodness. Oh no, we got seven mutton. I was like, is that a Ovis that that Sarko's eating? We got seven mutton. The freaking Sarko killed it. We were looking so long. No way. Oh, is seven enough? I don't know if seven's enough. That is truly unfortunate. Oh, there's an Ovis right in front of me. Oh, I've just picked it up. Okay. We're getting out of here. All right, this style is up. Not really a surprise. He's just chilling in the pen still, which is great news for us. 
We don't have to re-trap them. I do appreciate that, Thyla. And uh, the area still seems pretty clear. So I guess we're just going to go for another Trank here. Knock it right back out. Alright, so I cooked up a bunch of meat here. And uh, we should be ready to tame this thing now. I'm hoping. Here we go. It's already kind of way down on hunger. And, oh my goodness. The effectiveness is not super amazing. Uh, and unfortunately we can't tame it with kibble because I'm pretty sure we need extraordinary kibble to actually do a thyla, which is kind of insane. We're nowhere close to that at the moment. All right, we're back at the base here. We've got the thyla all saddled up. We're ready to take him out. And uh, let's just look at the stats real quick. 6,300 health, 1,400 stamp, 728 weight, 311.6% melee damage. So pretty dang good. Actually not terrible. Surprised that uh, it turned out that good, even though we lost a decent amount of levels. And we're just going to jump straight off here, I think. Because we can always climb back up. It's not going to be a super big deal. So let's do that. Oh, we should have gone off the diving board. I'm disappointed that we missed that opportunity to use the diving board. You know what? We can just climb up and use it now. I'm pretty sure we can just climb up this rock. We absolutely can. Oh, he doesn't... He doesn't like this surface. Oh. Uh. Okay. Thylas are perfectly working and balanced. Can we just, like, continue like this? No, we're actually going down now. Interesting. We'll just slide all the way down, I guess. Why not? I don't judge. Uh, and I'm actually going to jump off here just in case. Oh, I can't jump off. Oh, we're so broken. Oh, we're so very broken. I was going to jump off in case of fall damage, but that was not a thing that I was able to do. That was, uh, that was special. Whatever just happened there, very special. Let's, uh, let's head over here. Let's just climb over this behemoth gate. And then we can jump off of this diving board. Because we need to take this opportunity. I mean, we have the diving board. We might as well use the diving board. And they're actually not bad in the water, which surprises me. Alright, now we are in the, uh, the pounce. The jump animation. And we're just frozen like this. I absolutely love it. We've experienced two giant glitches already with the Phyla. It's perfect. Just ship it. Just ship it. Put it in the game. 100%. It doesn't get better than this. And we'll just uh, we'll run around like this for a bit. I don't even want to attack anything and break the animation because it's just way too amazing. I feel like we're Superman. If only we got this animation while we were just like stuck in the sky there. That would have been good. Alright, let's actually let's kill something here. We're going to break the animation. It's going to be a sad time. Oh, we're not going to break the anime. We're just stuck like this forever? Okay, I'm just not going to jump. If we can attack like this, I'm satisfied. We are good. You took my multi-tool again? Can we not? Don't touch my multi-tool. Just kill everything like this. Perfectly normal. Can we back up like this too? It's a little bit weird. Took my Manta Saddle and my multi-tool, hey? Alright, did we get all that back? We did. Not that we're ever going to tame a Manta because they're a giant pain. This is so... I don't think I could ask for anything better than this. We are Superman Thyla. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh no. The animation broke. It's all over. It's ruined. There's actually a lot of things attacking me. Okay, okay. Trudons, please. Why are there so many of you? There's always like 50. Just die, please. Two more left. And they lost interest. Because we went to the water. They don't like the water. 
And you're almost dead? What level are you? You're like a crazy... Oh, you're only one away. Never mind. I take it back. Not a crazy level. The fish are doing just great. You guys are killing it as fish. That's how I would swim as well, if I was a fish. For some reason, I feel like the server is just breaking on us at the moment. So we're getting some weird, strange things happening. Alright, we got a Diplo attacking us. I feel like we need to kill it. Are we even playing Ark if we don't kill a Diplo in episode? Probably not. And I have a feeling you're going to be kind of tanky. What level are you? You're only 18. Okay, that's not bad. We don't do a super amount of damage with the Thyla, so... I don't want to take on anything too strong. I kind of want to find an Alpha Raptor and maybe kill a couple of those just to get some levels in this Thyla. Make it a bit stronger, a bit better. Alright, we actually found an Alpha Carno, which... I'm a little bit afraid to attack, but we're going to try it. It's in the water, so I might... Oh, it does 40 damage. I don't know if this is going to be a thing. We're going to try. Because as long as it's in the water, we do have an opportunity. Uh, assuming these piranhas don't ruin our day. Piranhas, please. Now is not the time. Let's deal with them first we can just kill all the piranha there we go no carno stay in the water i have faith you're gonna stay in the water you're gonna love the water yeah swim to me is there another piranha on me piranha please you're making my life so much more difficult than it needs to be all right, so it should be a bit weaker now. We can put away the gun. And we should be able to just tank and kill it. I assume. Maybe. I guess we're going to find out. Does quite a bit of damage, but we should be fine. We're kind of sliding everywhere. Oh, we got some good shots on it there. Come on, let me kill you. I believe. And you are dead? Amazing. Did we get anything good from that? Not really. I mean, the Journeyman Chitons, not bad. If I'm being honest. But nothing super amazing there. And we got a bit of experience, so not going to complain too much. Okay, there's a lot of Sabertooth Salmon here. Can we all just relax a little bit? Ooh, we found an Alpha Raptor. Which is what I've been looking for. We should be able to take you pretty easily. Uh, let's just make sure we turn around here. We're prepared. But yeah, you only do 22 damage. We're fine. Perlovia's on us. That's going to hurt a bit. Because it is boosted by the alpha at the moment. Let's just deal with you. Thank you. Oh no, the terror birds. This might be bad. This might be really bad for us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna dip. We're dipping. We're 100% dipping from that. And that boost from the alpha really hurts us. We almost had that alpha too. We're just gonna sit and heal for a bit. Alright, we're at over half health. I believe that's enough. Let's go ahead and finish off this alpha raptor. And there is terror birds kind of causing a bit of trouble still. We should be fine. Just kill you real quick. There you go. Uh, did you drop anything for us? It doesn't seem like it. You just didn't have any drops or is it in the water in a bag? I didn't see a bag. No, you just had no drops for us. Okay. I guess that's a thing that happens sometimes. Okay, so we are back at the base here, and I uh, had a lot of fun with the Thyla. I always do. It's probably one of my favorite creatures in Ark. So if you guys have a name for it, let me know in the comments below. It is a female. And now I want to do something involving the snails here. I want to automatically gather the Akatina paste that they drop. So in order to do that, we need a S plus item collector, which we do have one. We've crafted one up, but we need propellant to actually run it, which we don't have. So... What we're going to do is actually build an industrial grinder. 
And then uh, we are going to grind what we need to make propellant because propellant is cactus, something else, and oil, I believe. I don't know. It's like a weird concoction. Let's go ahead and check. So yeah, we can't get cactus. We can't get sulfur on this map as far as I'm aware. So let's go ahead and build this industrial grinder. We've got that. That was very expensive. That took 2,000 crystal. That's why we needed all that crystal the other day. And we can go ahead and place this down. I don't remember it ever being this small. All right, so we have you on. And what do we need to make all the things? We need sap for that. And we need feces for sulfur. Um, okay. Feces for sulfur? That doesn't really make sense in my mind, but who am I to judge? All right, so we have a super amount of sap. I don't think we're ever going to run out of sap. So let's go ahead and throw half of that in here. We're just going to let it do its thing. And now we just need to get a bunch of feces. Where is our Fiomia? It should be around here somewhere. Here you are. Uh, do we have any stim berries for you? Can we pull some stims? Can we pull some stims here? Stimberry. And we have a bunch there. So let's go ahead and do that. Throw you in here. Get all the poop that we're ever going to need. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw this in. Power you up. And amazing, you've picked up three paste already. And some random eggs here and there. And now we just need to make like a little pen over here for the snails. I'm thinking we just do it right beside here. Kind of tuck it all into one neat package. So I think what I want to do here is kind of just do a slanted roof going one way. But that's not quite tall enough. So we're going to add a couple more railings. Like so. We'll just do that. And then we'll do two more just on that side there. And then we're going to come down from that end. And then what I'm actually going to do is place these like so. We're going to kind of give it a weird look here. But I think it'll look cool. Alright, let's see if we can get this to work here. So we're going to go off of this one here, I think. We'll try that. And no, that's not exactly going to be in line. I don't think we're ever actually going to get it in line, though, which is unfortunate. We're just going to have to do something like that. Does that... That looks very weird, doesn't it? Kind of strange. And then I want to do a doorway here. Let's get rid of these ramps. How does that look? If they were all lined up, I bet you it would look really cool, but they are not lined up whatsoever. So we may have to actually scratch that idea. And I'm going to change these to stairs. Maybe that'll help. Does that make things look a bit better? It kind of does. But this is still bugging me way too much, so we got to get rid of all this. Just doesn't really work. Alright, so this is kind of what I've gone with here. It looks okay. I kind of wish I could change some things like the thickness of this beam right here going through. I would love to make it this size. I think that looks a bit better. But unfortunately, can't do that. Not a thing. But I don't think it looks too bad. And we're going to store the snails in there. So let's go ahead and grab them, bring them over. And uh, there we go. We've got the snails a little home here. They're just going to kind of chill and do their thing. Very happy about that. And you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to be it for this video. So remember to smash that like button. And remember to subscribe if you guys have not already. Because it seriously helps me out. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support of the channel. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And have a good one. See ya.